Hello everyone, welcome to another video tutorial in surveying. For those who are new here, by the way, I am Engineer Jay. I am a civil engineer and currently teaching as an engineering professor. And in this video, I am going to teach you on how to adjust a closed traverse. But before that, let's make ourselves familiar with some of the important terms that we will be encountering in this lecture. Now take note, we have two different types of traverse. We have open traverse and we have a closed traverse. Now open traverse, this is a series of line that are joined together, okay, that do not form a closed area, okay? So it does not um, form a area. So example of open traverse is we have um, roadways, highways, or railways. Now, we have also a closed traverse, which I will be um, discussing in this video. Now, closed traverse, this is a group or a series of lines that are joined together to form a area, just like this one here. So, closed traverse is applied to form a lot, okay, sa mga lote or subdivisions. However, guys, in surveying, we may encounter problems or we may encounter some um, factors that could influence our data. And that factors could create or could generate errors in our traverse, such as error of closure. So that's the reason why we have error at hindi natin close ang ating traverse. So that's the reason why we should eliminate errors. Now we have two methods used in eliminating error of closure in our closed traverse, we have here transit rule and a compass rule. Okay? But before that, let's try to understand terms that we can find in our traverse. So we have the latitude and the departure. Now, latitude here, this is either the north or the south projection of our traverse. And the departure here, this is either the east or the west projection of our traverse like for example if we have this closed traverse let's say this is point a point b point c and point d now traverse a b okay line a b has a north projection okay it has north projection and that projection is what we called the latitude okay and it has also a east projection and that projection is called the departure and for bc it has a south projection, okay, that is the, its latitude, and it, it has also a east projection, and that is departure. All lines in our closed traverse has a latitude and a departure. Now, we have to take this into account that in north latitude is considered as positive latitude, and the south latitude is considered as negative latitude. Now, for departure, the west departure is a negative departure and the east departure is a positive departure. So, take note of this sign convention. But how are we going to compute for the value of our latitude and departure? Now, take note, we have here angle beta. This angle beta here this is what we call the bearing angle. And we know that bearing angle is the angle which is referred from the north or south lines okay so we usually um, express bearing here as angle from the north or from the south just like we have is north 45 degrees east that means we have 45 degree angle from the north towards the east side so we have this one this angle here so this is 45 degrees we have also south 20 degrees west that means from the south we have 20 degrees or 20 degree angle from the south towards the west side okay or it is on the third quadrant okay in our cartesian plane so that's it so that's how you're going to express bearing so what's the use of bearing in computing for the value of our latitude and departure now let's say if this our traverse traverse a and traverse b and the distance between a b here is known so we have the latitude and we also have the departure now to compute for the latitude basically it is just using the um, 
right triangle rule or adapting the sum of trigonometric identity we have here to compute for the latitude which we can use cosine cosine of beta is equal to that is the adjacent the latitude over the hypotenuse the hypotenuse here is the distance so therefore our latitude here is equal to distance cosine of beta now for departure we can say that we have sine of the bearing angle is equal to the opposite of that angle we have the departure over the hypotenuse which is the distance hence we have the departure here which is equal to the distance times the sine of that angle so this is how you're going to compute for the value of the latitude and the departure now take note again if if that our latitude is along the north that is positive if it is along the south direction that is negative for departure if this is along the east direction that is positive if we have west direction that is always negative okay so this is how you're going for the latitude and the departure of that traverse now let's proceed to the discussion of the two methods or two rules in eliminating the error of closure so again we have the compass rule and we have the transit rule now compass rule this is the correction to be applied is equal to the total closure of the latitude or departure multiplied by the ratio of the length of the course to the total length or perimeter of the traverse so we have this um, formula here to be to simplify the explanation we have the error or we have the correction along the latitude this l here just means latitude is equal to the error of closure along the latitude okay so you sum up the the north latitude and the south latitude using or re retaining its respective signs times the distance of that traverse over the total distance of the area or of the closed traverse which is the perimeter okay of our area and then we have the correction to be applied in the departure is equal to the error of closure in the departure times the distance of that traverse over the total area of the traverse or the perimeter of the traverse so basically the value of d over d here is equal to the value of the correction in the departure okay so that's how you are going to compute for the corrections using the compass rule now for the transit rule in order to compute for the corrections in the latitude of the traverse it is just equal to the error of closure on the latitude times the latitude of that traverse over the summation of all the latitude okay and that you need to disregard the negative sign so you have to sum up the absolute values now for the corrections on the departure it is just the total or the error of closures on the departure times the departure of that traverse over the summation of all the departures in the closed traverse okay so the difference lang between the compass and the transit rule is that in the transit rule we are using the latitude instead of the distance or we are using the departure instead of the distance so that's the difference between the two rules and that ends the first part of this discussion now we will try to solve problems in the second part of this video just click the link found in the description and guys please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching and see you in my next video